What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gundam Base Limited Real Grade Freedom Gundam GCP from Gundam Seed. Based on the life-size Freedom Gundam instead of Imagination, this kit's quality is sure to have even Shin Asuka think twice about stabbing it in the abdomen. And if you're looking for a comparative review between the two Real Grade Freedoms, look out for my Cheese vs Cheese video, as I will be judging the GCP version by its own merits in this review. The GCP Freedom comes with 16 runners and a moderately sized decal sheet, with only the B, C, and G runners being reused from the original kit to a limited degree, while all the other runners are new to the GCP version. Being based on an old real grade, it's hard not to feel cautiously curious. Well, on top of undergating on the white pieces and the brand new head and backpack, this kit has you build up new frame parts for the torso, shoulders, and ankles in order to match the statue's looks while improving on the basic structure. That does mean the arms, waist, and legs utilize the old frame, and as a result, the majority of the build process is extremely similar to the old real grade, while the new parts do help freshen up the build to some extent. The resulting aesthetics, though, are nothing like the old real grade. The surface detail is sharpened up a lot, to the point where panel lining isn't really necessary for the kit. Every panel line, every vent, every rivet, they're all very visible straight from the box. It's just a visual feast. On top of that, the two-tone white has been further enhanced so that the difference is more visible. Besides the fact that they have separated more panels into the two-tone than the original. Moreover, there is also a two-tone blue on the torso, feet, and wings, which adds another layer of depth to the visuals. That head though, the fiercer gaze, refined aesthetics, and full color separation is just the piece de resistance of this kit. Not only are the lenses molded in a clear blue, but the eyes are completely made of plastic pieces, with the yellow molded onto the V-fin, while the black rim is molded onto the cheek vents. Sure, it's more a hit or miss to some, but it does make the old real grade face look derpy and emotionless in comparison. The detail behind the V-fin is a bit excessive though. And the wings, while longer than normal, gives the kit a larger impact, and the fact that all the small winglets are stored inside the larger wings makes them look sleeker and more refined. However, it's a tiny bit too tall for 120.44 scale if you care about that stuff, being 13.5cm tall, due to the taller torso and the new ankle frame. But it's a minute enough difference that is negligible in the end. But god, does this kit look good. So good out of the box, in fact, that the decals do little to nothing to further enhance the looks. For articulation, there's a double jointed neck that allows great flexibility, even the static mullet won't get in the way of the head looking anywhere. The shoulder armor and shoulders can move up to facilitate the arm raise, while the shoulder thrusters can move. The arms can also swing forward and rotate with the shoulder armor without any issue. There's a bicep rotation, double jointed elbow with some armor separation, ball jointed wrists and a hinged wrist guard, and movable fingers and knuckle joints for the articulate finger hands. Front and back crunches are just ridiculous thanks to the new torso frame, while side crunches are not too shabby either. Not too much of a waist rotation though. Front, side, and back skirts can all move, and the lockable leg drop mechanic is still here, as the entire lower body but the ankles are made up of the old frame. As such, near full front splits are possible, while not so much the side splits, unless you cheat and rotate the railguns out the way. There's a thigh swivel, double jointed knees with great armor separation, movable thruster flap, an ankle guard, some decent, albeit unchanged, ankle movement, and singular toe movement. Finally, the tiny thrusters on the back can move, and the wings can rotate and flap at the base, and open up at the five individual segments. Altogether, the articulation is great, nothing too fancy to say about that. More notably, the ease of movement and overall stability is drastically increased thanks to the new frame parts and the new construction of the wings. Unfortunately, the hips are the crux of the reused frame parts, as the kit can still feel a bit unstable due to them. However, in a neutral standing pose, the landing gear in the wings are a massive help. In terms of accessories, you get the old set of fists, movable finger hands, a right trigger finger hand, and a left grasping hand. 
on top of a set of new open hands to replicate the statue pose. It's a shame that they didn't include a new set of fixed holding hands in there though, but the grey piece in the wrist guard doesn't fall out as easily anymore, which is life-saving. There is also the opening carpet hatch, which is nice, but Kira is a fictional character instead of a real person, so there is no pilot figure included. Weapons start with the Lacerda Beam Sabers. They're fairly standard in their use, and easy to set up by plugging them into the Articular Finger Hands for use with the included SB-13 beams. They don't seem to fall out easily, which is nice. Same thing can be said for the Cup of Mold as well, which is reassuring to know. The storage mechanic is also improved, as there is a rail in the skirt armor for the tab to slot into and lock into place. There's no longer any need to worry about falling beam savers. The rest of the weapons are practically identical in their use though, like the lupus beam rifle and the laminated anti-beam shield. Apart from the sharper surface detail and the blue lens for the beam rifle, there is not much else to note. Rifle in hand, while shield mounted in the elbow. The rifle can be stored on the basket with the tab on its side, and the shield can be adjusted with the hinge and the ball joint from the original frame parts, while the handle can be repositioned or stowed away. The Sophia's railguns and Belaina plasma cannons can unfold and flip out respectively, just like normal, the former having fold-out handles, while the latter having a fold at the base for use when the wings are open. However, there is a pretty noticeable gap along the tops of the plasma cannons, as that's for use with the middle winglet and for the landing gear to be stowed away when not in use. While that's a practical design choice, it's hard for the gap to not stick out while using them. Finally, on top of the original crotch stand adapter, there is a new adapter that plugs onto the backpack for propping it up while easing the strain on the waist. A pose should definitely be set up beforehand though, as it's not too stable when you move the kit around while propped up with the adapter. In terms of leftovers, it's just a random assortment of frame and rep parts that don't have much use in any situation. Well I guess the original frame runs can be used as backups if you have the original real great freedom. Before, I was a bit apprehensive about actively recommending this kit, but ever since Bandai announced that this kit will be available over Japanese Gundam base counters for just 3850 yen instead of 299 Chinese yuan equating to 5925 yen as of this recording, and on P Bandai for relatively the same price if you can click fast enough, I will now strongly recommend it. Yes, the GCP Freedom is a massive improvement compared to the original Real Grade Freedom, Calling it a real grade 1.5 is not at all an exaggeration. The overall fierce, defined aesthetics are pleasant to the eye, and the overall improved handling makes it a blast to pose with significantly fewer worries. However, the full reuse of the old frame from the waist down, apart from the ankles, is slightly disappointing and carries the usual flaws, for example, instability. But either deploy the landing gear or prop it up on an action base and you'll negate those issues easily. Could they have done more? Yes, absolutely. But the improvements made definitely revitalize the real grade freedom. And if you insist on getting the real grade instead of any other grade, this is the freedom to get. And that's all for me. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe for more content like this. And feel free to follow me on social media and join the Discord server in the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.